So the other night, um, I went down to South County to address two commissioners, Commissioners Sandy Merman and Stacy White. Um, they were holding a transportation town hall, and um, I wanted to ask them about uh, their vote on a couple different things. They voted just the week before uh, to leave a statue to the Confederates um, standing in front of the county courthouse, but they also, just a couple weeks before that, voted to keep the Tampa Bay Express funding in the TIP. So I wanted to make the connection between those two votes and how they kind of disregard institutional racism um, in their decision making. And they said that, you know, they're not representing everybody in, in the county. And so um, what happened is I went to give my comment. Um, I started to read my comment. Um, it was a question, it was leading to a question. And I literally didn't get through three sentences before Stacy White cut me off. And I believe that he cut me off because in my introduction of who I am, I introduced myself as a member of Showing Up for Racial Justice, a group that works to hold white people accountable and uh, work to do better. Um, so it was as soon as I said Showing Up for Racial Justice, I think he knew, he's like, this, I think he may have even recognized me from the Board of County Commission meeting. Um, that was just less than seven days before. Um, so he cut me off. He said, you're out of line. And I didn't understand. I didn't understand what I said. That was out of line. <laughs> um, and he said, well, this is about public transit. And I, I knew that my comment was about public transit. So I told him that. And I kept going. Um, and, it, you know, it took a little bit to get it would have taken a little bit to get to the part about the TBX. I never got to get to that part because he just kept cutting me off. Um, and then I was completely shocked when two police officers escorted me out. I was, I, that's never happened to me before. And I felt that that was completely uncalled for. Well, let's tie it. Here's your chance to say what you would have said. How does the transportation tie in with what you were talking about about racial justice? So um, both Sandra Merman and Stacy White um, voted, they're on the MPO board, the Metropolitan Planning Organization, and uh, for several years now they have voted to uh, move forward on a transportation project that will disproportionately impact people of color in the city of Tampa. Um, so. I saw a connection between that and voting to keep this Confederate monument standing. Um, so, and it just seems that they don't quite understand the intricacies of how you uphold racism institutionally. They are instrumental in keeping people in certain socioeconomic states based on their decisions. Um, the connection is, is in our built environment. Whether you're building a road that will displace mostly people of color or allowing a symbol of racist hate to stand in the city, you are creating spaces that reinforce uh, racism in, our, in people's minds and also in the land. Racism is built into the land, you know, where people live, where people are forced to live, when people are displaced. And when they ha that happens to be mostly people of a certain skin color, you know, it's not it's not always a coincidence when you keep turning your your a blind eye to that. So some of the reaction to were from some of the people in the audience was, you know, hey, stop talking. But you feel that you you had a right to talk at a, at a um, transit meeting about racial how race race and transit interact. Absolutely. I mean, that's. I, th I feel that the way that people are affected by our decisions is the entire conversation. So in this room, at this public meeting, there was a bunch of people who were speaking about the way that public transit affects them, or I'm sorry, transit in general, the way that you know people were talking about a bridge that needed to get built. 
um, and an intersection that they wanted a light at. I was there representing um, a, a group of marginalized people that are always ignored in these decisions. And uh, I, I absolutely felt like I was, um, I had every right to ask that question. It's a very important question. Well, great. I appreciate your time today. Thanks so much.